So in Outriders, there are going to be four classes for you to choose from. There is the Pyromancer, the Technomancer, the Trickster, and the big old chunky boy, the Devastator. Now, this is the first of four videos I'm planning on making where I'm going to go over each of these four classes, but also what we know about their subclasses, their abilities, their traits, and some of their talent points to hopefully help you choose which one of these four classes you're going to want to begin the game with when it releases in April or when you get your hands on the demo at the end of February. So this is going to be a bit of a detailed video. Now, I am going to leave a link in this video's description to an incredible document which will show off all of the classes, their skill trees, their subclasses, and any bit of information you might want without having to watch a video, which is created, I seen the, the post on Reddit, and it's created by a person called Fat Pickle Smith. And like I said, it's in the description of this video. Now, today's video is all about the latest one that they showed off, which is the Technomancer. Our minigun summoning, rocket launcher wielding, toxic turret dispensing, but also the healing outrider, the only class in the game that's going to be able to heal teammates, the Tech Shaman. Now, the Technomancer is also the ice or the toxic element spreading guy in your group, dots and added crowd control on top of all of those heals but the technomancer class trait or the passive which you're going to have to unlock before you can avail of any of the subclasses is the ability to increase long range weapon damage by 7%, increase your life leech by 15% and increase skill leech by 15% as well. So it's a sniper or I guess a ranged DMR weapon specialist and that's what's going to benefit the most when running with the Technomancer. Now the Technomancer's melee ability will deal a certain amount of damage but also freeze enemies in a radius around the enemy I guess that you initially hit and like all four classes the Technomancer will start with eight abilities. Eight abilities but you can only equip three at any given time. You are free to switch these abilities around whenever you want to min max your Technomancer to gain the most benefit from your weapons, your armor setups, but also to amplify your actual subclasses and its talent points because a lot of these subclasses have talent points that are designed to work specifically with certain abilities. Now the eight abilities that we know of for the Technomancer are Shrapnel, Cryo Turret, Pain Launcher, Blighted Rounds, Tool of Destruction, Fixing Wave, Cold Snap and Blighted Turret. And I'll give a quick description of what each one of these does. Now, Shrapnel is a type of mine that you can throw down for enemies to walk onto, and then it will blow up. Cold Snap is a large area of effect freezing crowd control ability. Blighted Rounds will fill your magazine with blighted bullets, and when you hit enemies, it will spread the toxic effect to nearby enemies, as well as a percentage of damage that that initial target first took. Then you have Cryo Turret, which is crowd control, or slowing enemies down, allowing you to deal with them more efficiently. You have the Tool of Destruction ability, which will allow you to switch between your, I guess, spec minigun or rocket launcher, your exalted minigun or rocket launcher, tapping the ability will summon the rocket launcher or holding it down will channel the minigun. And then you have the blighted turret ability which will allow you to drop a toxic spewing turret, like a big snot coloured flame throwing turret, except it spreads uh, toxicity. Now the pain launcher allows you to activate a rocket barrage. It's basically a mortal turret that drops bombs in a large area. And then you have the other ability which is fixing wave. This is a healing ability that can heal teammates, turrets and so on. Now it is worth noting that when I played the early alpha of Outriders a couple of months ago, the abilities didn't really have much of a long cooldown. It was a constant cycle between gunplay and ability play, which felt great. There was that power fantasy to it. It was very fast paced, very aggressive, constantly using your guns, constantly hitting the abilities, dealing damage to heal yourself at the same time. And cover was more or less used as a kind of oh shit moment. You're after taking too much damage and you just want to heal up. So there are three subclasses for the Technoman. So there is the Pestilence skill tree, the Tech Shaman one, and then there is the Demolisher one as well. The skill tree has 70 points in total and your maximum level will be 30. So there might be some talent points that you may be able to get through quests or through something else. There is also talent points which are neutral in between each one of those subclasses that will allow you to dip down into a different subclass tree if you are after a certain skill point. Now, like I said, each one of these subclasses is very heavily catered towards certain abilities, but also I feel like towards certain weapon types as well. The Pestilence subclass is a little bit self-explanatory. It allows you to deal increased toxic damage, but also decay, which is a toxic dot that you can spread. And if it works similar to the Burn effect, which I had on my Pyromancer when I got to get an early play test of it, 
this might bounce off life leech as well giving you a steady stream of self heals depending i guess on your leech amount so using abilities like blighted turret like your blighted rounds would benefit this subclass heavily it also has a talent point for increasing assault rifle damage so snipers might not be fully needed for the pestilence tree unless you have the assault rifle as your secondary weapon now some of the skill points that we know for the pestilence skill tree are ones that will increase weapon damage increase your life leech increase armor piercing there is the sniper master talent point which allows you to increase ranged weapon damage there is the toxicologist talent point which allows you to increase the duration of your toxic inflictions on enemies then you have the nitrogen capsule talent point which will reduce the distance considered for a weapon to be in the long range category so this might allow some assault rifles to possibly fit inside the long range category which means your trait or your passive might boost those as well maybe we'll have to wait and see then you have the talent point that allows you to increase the weapon damage for you and your squad by 40 percent so it's also a team buffing outrider and not just a healing one now the next subclass is the tech shaman this one is basically your squad healer but it's also about boosting your gadgets and is pretty tanky as well the talent points for this will give you increased ammo increased health increased resistance it's got increased damage to frozen enemies so it's going to play heavily on the freeze effects that you can deal it can inflict invulnerability once you freeze enemies there is increased turret health increased turret leech increased weapon life leech then there is the doctor of medicine talent point where you increase the healing that you can take but also the healing that your squad takes by 20 percent as well it also has the overclocked talent point for giving you a second life if you lose all of your health then you have a chance to return life to 50 percent of what your i guess overall health is but this can only happen once every 180 seconds so after the tech shaman you have the demolisher subclass which is basically heavily centered around your anomaly power your abilities and how effective these explosions and turrets you have are going to be its talent points allow you to increase your armor can reduce the damage you and your teammates will take from elite enemies but can also increase your resistance and your skill leech as well it can also apply and increase the amount of toxic damage that enemies will take while also allowing your melee damage to apply toxic maybe instead of the cold as well so to me this sounds like the subclass for using the rocket launcher ability or the mortar turret or even for your mini gun basically the big explosive guy but also one that could possibly deal increased damage from those toxic turrets because there is a few skill points in there to increase your toxic output so that's basically the three subclasses and the eight abilities that go along with the technomancer now there's still a lot right because the game isn't out till april and the demo isn't here till the end of february but there is still a lot that we don't know about that could amplify your technomancer even more it does initially seem to revolve around your sniper class or your dmr but like i said there is one talent point that might help you with assault rifles and we don't know what kind of legendary weapons or full armor sets there are in game that will help amplify any of these subclasses by even more there's bound to be some kind of i guess healing weapon or some kind of healing armor set that will allow the tech shaman to heal you more efficiently while also allowing maybe the demolisher and the pestilence one to be increased by a substantial amount as well so that's the technomancer again apologies for the long video it is a lot of detail and like i said there is a link in the description of this video to that spreadsheet if you want to see what each one of the talent points are if you don't mind being spoiled and if you want to i guess pre-plan for which class you want to actually play with and enjoy so three more classes to go expect them over the next few weeks and as always thanks for watching